Chapter 4 Editing in MS Word Hello friends how are you In this chapter we have to understand the functions or special keys find and replace options and are going to learn how to copy and paste text Are you ready Let's start with it here Our friend Arjun wanted to write a story The goose with the golden eggs We have to store the story in the computer Friends Are you ready to type the story as shown below? The goose with the golden eggs. Once upon a time, a man and his like that of any other goose. In this activity, we are using Microsoft Word 2010 for typing. Editing using keyboard. After completing his typing, Arjun started to read the story. He found that he can make some modifications. and clear some errors in the documents with facilities in the word processor he tried for editing using keyboard making changes in the document is called editing he went for other options like correcting mistakes cut copy and paste of certain words and sentences in the document friends do you remember that you cannot write documents without the help of a keyboard so you should understand the use of keyboard properly let's see some commonly used keys on the keyboard for editing enter key is used to move the cursor to the next line when you press the enter key the cursor will move to the beginning of the next line it's also called the return key arjun had typed the story without separating it into paragraphs actually he needs to type the story into two or three paragraphs He separated the entire story into three paragraphs through the following steps. He placed the cursor at the end of the sentence after the full stop and pressed the enter key which he found as the end of the paragraph. The next sentence jumped into the next line creating another paragraph. Friends, do you know word warp? I think it sounds new to you. Don't worry. It is very simple. When this option is selected and the cursor reaches at the end of a line on which you are typing it moves automatically to the next line this facility is known as word wrap is it clear now okay caps lock key is used to type upper case letters you can use caps lock key to change lower case into upper case and vice versa if caps lock is on a small light glows on the right side of the keyboard Then you can enter upper case letters. Look, Arjun deleted the heading and pressed the caps lock key then retyped the heading. Now the heading is in upper case letters. Shift key. Normally we use capital letters in the beginning of a sentence. To do this, we have to press and hold the shift key and press the required alphabet on the keyboard. Tab key is used to jump the cursor into the next tab stop. Usually a paragraph starts leaving a blank space in the first line. This is done by pressing tab key. If you want to write things in another paragraph, tab key may be pressed for leaving a tab space before that paragraph. That means we have to place the cursor on the first line of each paragraph and press the tab key. to have the tab space before a paragraph formatting a text to format a text first you have to select the text place the cursor just before the portion you want to select and drag the mouse up to the end of the portion that you want to select other than typewriter all the word processing softwares has certain keyboard shortcuts which help us a lot in several activities friends Now let's learn some keyboard shortcuts. Control plus A to select all the text in a document. Shift plus arrow keys to select a character from the cursor position. Shift plus home keys to select text from cursor position to the beginning of a line. Shift plus N key to select text from cursor position to the end of a line cut and paste sometimes you may need to move some text or pictures into another location here the option cut and paste will help you to do this 
Let's understand the use of cut and paste options with an example. Pooja typed her name in the last line. She wanted to move it into the first line. She selected the text My name is Pooja and selected the cut option on the clipboard group on home tab. She placed the cursor at the top of the window and clicked on the paste option. Now the sentence My name is Pooja is moved to the beginning of the document. Copy paste. The copy paste activity is the same as we discussed right now. Cut and paste is used to take a copy of selected text or picture. The copied item is stored in the clipboard. You can paste any number of copies from the clipboard. Select Pooja from the sentence and then click on copy icon from clipboard group from the home tab. Then select the location where to have it and then click the paste option. Now it will get pasted there. Find and replace. Find option is used to find a word or text from a document. Replace option helps you to replace any word with a new word. First, you can select find and replace options from editing group on home tab. Let's see the working of find option with an example. Friends, you may click find option on the editing group. The navigation pane opens in the left side of the window. Now, the search results are displayed in the navigation pane with each selected word in the document. Some of the shortcut keys used at this stage of typing are Ctrl plus F to find a specific text from document. Ctrl plus H to replace a specific text from a document. Select Replace option in Editing Group. A window with Replace tab will get displayed. Type the word it in the Find Word text box and mouse in Replace with text box and click Find Next and Replace button. The word it will be replaced with mouse. If you are clicking on Replace All button, all the it will be replaced with the word mouse by a single click. Find and replace window is used to find words from any page, line or any section from the document.